Hello, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we'll talk about import assets into Unity. So we'll take a look into the Asset Store website, the Package Manager, uh, the direct import from your computer, and Unity packages. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Asset Store. The Asset Store is a great way to get free assets. So you just go to Window, Asset Store, and you see this message where they say that the asset store has moved and now you should use the package manager but you can search online for the, for the assets and add them to your account and it's much easier to do that way then you will use the package manager to just download and import the assets so you can just open the package manager right away but now let's go to the to the asset store search online this should get you into the asset store you should be logged in in your account and now you can search for assets here you have a lot of assets i really recommend you to go here to the free assets and check this option and now you can add any of these assets to your account i will just look for rocks and boulders this option is here as i already added this to my assets uh, this say open in unity but the first option that will appear here for you is add to my assets let me show you with any other asset that I haven't downloaded yet here add to my assets I don't like to use this option to open in unity now you can just go into unity and go to the package manager and you sh should have here on the top uh, go for the my assets option if this haven't updated yet you can just press this button here to refresh the packages and now my asset should be here let's search for the rock and boulders okay rock and boulders too now you can download your asset here I already downloaded and after that you can import just click the button this can take some time be patient now here you can in this little window uh, you can select what you want to import into your project I will import the rocks and the shaders but I don't want to import the demo I don't need it click import okay uh, we already have here in the assets uh, the rock and boulders so let's go to scene let's open something here like the rocks prefabs uh, rock one okay sh can, be, can be this one let's grab it and boom we have a huge detailed rock in our scene with almost zero work so that's one way to import assets from the unity store using package manager as well now for example you can also import and export unity packages i'll show you how to do it let's create a cube and scale it a little bit okay and now let's go to assets and import custom package and you can see that whenever you have a dot unity package you can import a bundle if you download something on the internet or from a friend I don't know from a colleague you can you can import your package into unity so just open the package and now you can import uh, in this case is a material let's import that and I have my material here and I can just apply this to the queue that's another way to import packages in unity so in the asset store I just downloaded a unity package and I imported that but is via package manager and this is a custom way to do it from your computer and you can also export that uh, you can just go for example to the queue right click and export package and now you can export this package that contains the material you click export 
bloomat and you can save this unity package and that's another way to do it and finally let's have a look into the other way as simple as just grabbing the assets and put it into unity for that we will take the opportunity to download a texture from cc0textures.com you can browse for their assets and I will grab this texture here uh, 2k is more than enough for now save this now let's open this to export the zip file extract and here we have the textures for the material I'll just grab this folder here and put it to unity into assets and that automatically imported my, my textures into unity and now I can use them to create a material it's simple as that what I will recommend is to create a new folder called textures and by grabbing the ground textures you just put it into the textures folder and now things are organized so that's how you import assets into unity in the next tutorial we'll create a material with these textures we just imported and apply them to a plane so i really hope you learned something new in this tutorial thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial